Hello and welcome to audio number 11 and video number 11 for the vocab building for the book Victor's Adventures in Spain Las Aventuras de Victor en España Ok, espero que estéis todos bien I hope you're all well and now we're going on to the letter J and the letter L Ok, la J Now, this is a challenge for lots of um, people who don't speak Spanish, getting the sound okay, la jota, okay, we've only got a couple of words with jota on, but it's worthwhile getting it right, if you can't get you must put an H sound, okay, and never a K, I mentioned this earlier in one of the, the, the videos too, in the audios, okay, so the first word that we're going to learn today is the word for ham, ham, now, how you say ham in Spanish is jamón. Jamón. Okay? So, very easy to remember because it's virtually the same, isn't it? Jamón. So the question is, do you want some ham on your sandwich? Do you want some jamón your sandwich? Yes, please. I want some jamón my sandwich. Okay, so, jamón. The next one with the J, and this is interesting. Now, this is interesting for English people because um, in England we drink beer from pints, okay? Which is normally of a big glass, okay? A pint glass. Well, in Spain, especially, especially if you order it, you can't order una pinta unless you're in the tourist area, but you can order una jarra. Okay, and una jarra is, is kind of a, a large glass, a pitcher, perhaps you might say in the US, a pitcher of, of water, big glass, okay? Una jarra. So it's got a J and double R, so you've got to get the J and you've got to get the R, okay? So it's a challenging word, jarra, jarra, okay? Now, how can you remember that? Well, if you look at the word, it looks like jar, doesn't it? It looks like jar. So it's virtually the same. So you just remember, I want a big jar of beer. Una jarra de cerveza, por favor. Okay? So, jarra. Then we've got an L word, and we want to say the word long. Long. Now, the word for long is strange because it's largo. Largo. So it's very similar to our word large, okay, but it means long, okay? So you've got to kind of think in the way of, well, not only is it is it large, but it's long too, okay? So it's oh, not only is it long, but it's large too. It's large and long. Largo. Okay, largo. Now we've got a, uh, this is a crazy one, okay? This is far away, far away, okay? And the word for far away is lejos. Lejos, okay? Lejos. Now, two ways you can remember this. One is you can think of Lagos, okay? Uh, Lagos, I think, is a place in Africa. You say Lagos is very far away. Okay, but if you don't know like I said it won't work so the other way I was thinking about was to think of getting your legs on a horse okay and traveling far away so I'm going to travel far away I'm going to get my legs on a horse lejos so you get your legs on your horse and you travel far away okay that's a good one I think that'll work next one is we've got the word full full Okay. like a, a, full of a, a cup full or something that's full and the word for full is lleno lleno okay lleno so as you can hear from my accent my accent which I've stolen from my wife who is from Madrid um, the double L sounds like a very soft J lleno okay so 
the way to remember that is where where is the currency yen from the yen um, it comes from Japan okay so imagine Japan is full of yen Japan is full of yen yeno the yen okay so Japan is full of yen I'm saying yen it's yen isn't it <laughs> I say yeno okay so full yeno Japan is full of yen all right and then the last one in this little range is then or later now this is a great word to use when you're telling a story in Spanish and you want to say and then and later and after okay and then the word that you use for that is luego luego now you've heard it probably lots of times when you hear people saying goodbye and they say hasta luego hasta luego and that just means hasta you already know what hasta means we've covered it okay until luego then or until later okay so you just say until then I'll see you again yeah so luego now lu we go to the loo we go so we say we're going to the loo later okay luego luego to the loo later okay <laughs> luego later have I said it enough times for you to remember it I think so okay so let, let's do a test now there are only a few words let's have a look six words let's see I'll give you the Spanish word you tell me what the English word is ready jamón jamón that's right would you like some ham on your sandwich jamón is ham okay and then what about this one Jarra. Jarra. Mm. Sounds like jar, and it is a jar or a pitcher or something very big that holds water or anything, beer. Okay, jarra. Then what about this one? Largo. Largo. Sounds like large, but not only is it large, but it's long. Largo is long. Okay. And what about this one? Lleno. Lleno. Japan is full of yen. So lleno is full. And then the final one. Luego. Hasta luego, y luego, later, then, after, yeah, luego, okay, we go to the loo later, luego, okay, so that was a nice short little one, um, sometimes they help to stick in your mind the shorter they are, okay, entonces, eh, nos vemos en el próximo video, hasta pronto, hasta luego.